The former combat pilot has won Florida and is flying high once more. Our victory might not have reached landside proportions, but it is sweet nonetheless. He beat Mitt Romney, the millionaire with slick hair who said only what people wanted to hear. Incredibly, the cash-strapped McCain won after saying unpopular things about terrorism and Iraq. Thank you. He chose honesty, even at the risk of defeat. He did. He chose honesty, and, and, and I think what American voters are really looking for these days is authenticity. The Arizona senator lives in Phoenix and has just emulated that mythical bird. Last summer, McCain was stony broke. His campaign looked set to crash and burn. But the old warrior kept his cool. After all, he knows what it's like to go down in flames for real. After more than five years a POW in North Vietnam, he returned a hero. McCain says it was during his dreadful incarceration that he became inspired by Republican politics. I stand for the principles and policies that first attracted me to the Republican Party when I heard in whispered conversations and tap codes. Heroic stuff from a foreign policy expert who earlier this month told me his priorities are broad. Uh, the pillar of all of our relationships is with the British. That, that, that relationship will never change, but we got a lot of work to do on climate change, on torture, on Guantanamo Bay, uh, and a lot of issues that we need to work together. In choosing McCain, the voters also rejected Rudy Giuliani. Once out in front, he's suddenly out of the race. He's now backing McCain, who, barring a big upset, will win the nomination and the chance to go from being a prisoner to a president.